Review, Volkswagen ID, Buzz EV is tripping on the future. In Sweden, unless alcohol is involved, conversation with strangers can be suspect. And yet head turning doesn't even start to describe the kind of attention I experienced in a first test drive review through some coastal towns of its Skane County in Volkswagen's ID, Buzz Electric van. It was more than I recall seeing in a supercar, but in all fairness the vehicle wasn't moving nearly as rapidly. Over and over, rubberneckers pulled alongside my driving partner and I on the road, and when parked people lingered nearby and approached with questions. One man stepped into the camera shot when we parked for a photo op. And a speedy looking road biker actually flagged us down in the middle of the road, not with any kind of emergency, but to ask about the van in a language not his own. I can only imagine what the response would be in California, where a production version of the ID Buzz remains nearly two years away. That version will arrive in extended wheelbase form, and potentially with a bigger battery pack than the 82 kilowatt hour pack in our test vehicle. Nostalgia triggers for the Type 2 microbus run deep in California, and the van's debut will mark roughly seven years since VW first revealed the ID Buzz at the 2017 Detroit Auto Show and then the same year let us take the wheel in a driving concept. At 185.5 inches long, the Eurospec ID Buzz is about the length of what would be considered a compact crossover in the US, as vehicle size creeps upward. The wheelbase is 117.7 inches for the current ID Buzz model, while the long wheelbase US version will stretch 10.6 inches longer, amounting to an expected 118.3 inches. Vanning past the new Beetle. After spending the rest of the afternoon with the Buzz, my Buzz didn't fade. VW absolutely nailed the exterior design, while learning from the mistakes of the new Beetle inside. This isn't a vehicle that will feel out of vogue in a few years. This time, VW has kept the retro cues outside and hasn't gone so far above and beyond with them inside. There's no vase inside, and no other overt nods to the flower power days. The ID Buzz is just a very practical, comfortable modern electric van inside, and the biggest concession to the retro snout involves the angled front quarter windows that, from inside, essentially break the A-pillar into two. Even that's a pragmatic choice, though. The wrapped windscreen, smooth snout, and smooth underbody help allow a low 0.29 coefficient of drag for the passenger version. The reason VW didn't go so new Beetle with the ID Buzz likely comes down to nostalgia. Those who once owned the original air-cooled buses when they were new or nearly new are into retirement age by now. The target customers are likely those who feel a hint of nostalgia because their family owned one when they were kids or there's one in the family album. What's inside doesn't need to push those buttons. It's a fine, modern, two-row van inside. You sit upright, with a great view outward and forward, even despite that front pillar arrangement. The only thing I noted when parking was that it was hard to tell where the front corners of the vehicle are. Nothing buggy inside. The interface will feel familiar to anyone who's been in the current Volkswagen ID.4 and a growing group of the latest VW vehicles. The driver gets a freestanding 5.3-inch display, while touchscreens are either 10.0 or 12.0 inches. Two communications packages are distinguished mainly by whether or not they include navigation. There are up to eight USB-C ports, including two just to the right of the steering wheel and one built into the passenger door. Most of these are next to storage trays and they can deliver 45 watts enough to charge a laptop or tablet at a rapid clip, and VW will offer an AC outlet as an option. Stay tuned for how many amps that means for the US, but it's powered by the 12-volt accessory circuit. Spotify and Apple Music from now can thus be used in the ID Buzz even without a linked-up smartphone, according to Volkswagen, although that's among the many features that might be market-dependent. Vehicles at the test drive were running a quick-reacting and bug-free software version 3.2 that's just starting to arrive in 2023 ID.4 models and should be available over the air soon. The second row is a bench seat good for three, split 60-40ths with reclining backrests, and each section can slide 5.9 inches fore and aft. The Pro version we tested also has power sliding doors on each side. Just mind that the second row doesn't have anywhere to go if you have a long, flat item. 
The battery's down there. Loaded to the top edges of the rear seatbacks, there's a whopping 39.6 cubic feet of cargo space, and if you fold the second row seatbacks forward that grows to 77.9 cubic feet, note that neither are the typical USSA measurements. Seating will likely change in US form anyway. How's ID drive? The ID Buzz borrows extensively from Volkswagen's existing MQB platform and the ID.4 crossover. It rides on McPherson struts in front, with a multi-link arrangement in back, and while it has disc brakes in front it might be the most expensive passenger vehicle on the market with rear drums. For now, in its Eurospec ID Buzz Pro launch form, the Buzz isn't all that quick or particularly engaging to drive. Instead, it aims for a smooth ride with a quiet, tightly assembled interior. There's loads of roll if you pitch it hard into a roundabout, but with the battery set low and surprising amounts of grip, its capabilities are far beyond that lean. Heartbreaking also doesn't produce the sort of nosedive you get in other vans. The ID Buzz directly borrows its single permanent magnet electric motor from the ID.4, and at the rear wheels it delivers 201 horsepower and 228 lbft of torque. VW says that the Buzz will get to 62 miles per hour in about 10 seconds, quite leisurely, and in European spec the ID Buzz is limited to a top speed of 90 miles per hour. That said, we got up to around 80 miles per hour and found that wind noise remains well hushed, perhaps even better so than in the ID.4. VW all but confirmed that an all-wheel drive version is on the way, pointing out how the company left the same package space open around the front axle. In AWD form, the ID.4 makes 295 horsepower and 339 lbft of torque. The ID Buzz sure could use that extra power. Just as in the ID.4, the ID Buzz essentially offers two levels of regenerative braking. If you drive in D, the ID Buzz will decelerate very lightly, unless you're already following someone closely. Click over to B and the ID Buzz decelerates more abruptly when you lift off the accelerator, pulling up to 0.3G, which is typical for EVs with one-pedal driving capability. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.